2022 wasn't an easy year for LTS, but it ended up being a very strong year. We broke records for output and for sales of the systems that we produce. That growth was driven by three factors. First of all, we benefited from the conversion of projects that we had won in the last couple of years and that ramped up during 2022, demonstrating that we still have the capability to grow, to grow our share in markets such as North America and Europe, where we are already traditionally quite strong. Secondly, we saw strong demand in a number of categories that we support. Demand that was not necessarily related to a rebound from a COVID dip, which makes us optimistic that that demand will continue strongly into 2023. The third factor that contributed to our growth this year was much less a cause for celebration. We suffered from increases in our input costs and we were forced to ask our customers for support in order to carry that burden. All of that was done in an environment which posed us with quite a few operational challenges. In particular, you can imagine that we too had instability in our workforce uh, because our workforce wasn't immune to COVID nor to the various flu waves that made their way through, through our continents in the second half of the year. And so, as far as I'm concerned, the LTS team can be particularly proud of achieving these records in a challenging environment. As a leader in our market, we see it as a responsibility of LTS to bring ideas, bring innovation to our customers. A great example of that is the work that we did on ketamine, bringing that into a format which is very convenient and very cost effective. Ketamine is a molecule that is prescribed to patients for pain, for depression, and has potential for other indications as well. In the oral thin film that we developed, we conducted a clinical trial demonstrating its bioequivalence and demonstrating that it has the potential to reduce the intoxicating effects just after administration that are sometimes associated with other delivery formats. We are now in dialogue with pharma partners to see how we can jointly bring this to patients and commercialize it. And that's just one example of the ideas of the innovation that LTS will continuously bring to the market for transdermal and transmucosal systems. The acquisition of our site in St. Paul was an important step forward for LTS in 2022. On the one side, it strengthens our position in our existing business in the most important pharmaceutical market in the world, the North American market. Secondly, the business came with a very strong pipeline of opportunities, creating a line of sight for accelerated organic growth in the years to come. Last but not least, the acquisition of the team in St. Paul brings a very talented organization into the LTS family, giving us an even stronger basis in North America to serve our customers. We are particularly pleased that with this acquisition, we now have once again R&D capabilities on the North American continent that will allow us to serve our customers more quickly and with a broader range of capabilities. With the MAP program, LTS targets to bring the convenience of drug administration through a patch, arguably the easiest form of administration, to patients who rely on therapies that require larger molecules and will not migrate through the skin in a passive system. In 2022, we took some big strides forward with our microneedle program. We believe that we have now demonstrated that the technology has the strength and the maturity to be ready for large-scale commercial manufacturing and clinical trials. We demonstrated the potential and the progress with this technology through two studies that we did this year. On the one hand, we completed a preclinical study with a large molecule. And secondly, we deployed a proof of concept study with vaccine, reaching very strong immune response across the whole population of the subjects that were in that study. 
And that consistency was one of the things that was so important. And we believe that for, with the formulations that we've developed now, we've cracked that. And so on top of that, what we are offering is also the ability to provide services for scale up to other players in the uh, microneedle field. Witness a partnership with Micron Biomedical. And so whether through our own programs or through our partnership with Micron, LTS is committed to be the first company to bring microneedles into full-scale commercialization, unlocking their benefits for patients across the globe. In 2023, we will first and foremost continue to serve our customers to the best of our ability. Serving the existing customer base is the foundation of our growth journey. For the rest, you may expect us to continue to execute on our growth strategy, be the best CDMO that we possibly can, grow our market, and provide access to convenient drug delivery formats to the world of large molecules. Furthermore, we'll continue to mobilize our troops, inviting them to shape the future together. That will really make the difference in the success of our growth journey. And I wish for all of us, customers and colleagues, that we can do all of that in a world that returns to more stability and to peace. Thank you.